Hello everybody. I'm going to just do a quick little video about how to get in here and get out all the bits and pieces of the old light seals. Because when I first got this um, from KEH, there was a ton of black specks in between the focusing screen, the glass, and the Fresnel. Um, or the ground glass, and then on the mirror, just down inside of the body here, uh, there was no lens when I got this, bought them separate, but the camera itself is in super good condition, um, yeah, so I'm just going to show you a pretty broke apart w uh, way of doing this, so I'm not going to fully disassemble on this video, but I'm going to post photos up and also do a little bit of visual aid um, beyond the photos. So I'll start with, when you first look at this, there's this little dial here, not this one, this is for opening the film door. You take this, and what this little dial is, is it keeps this waist level finder or your prism finder, whatever you end up using, tight and against the body, so it won't just slip right off. So you just want to turn it counterclockwise, loosen it up, and then this will just come right off and you'll have your waist level finder you can set aside. And now we have this area visible. And like I said, when I first got this, this whole, it was just completely covered in black dust in between both layers of glass, black dust. Um, it was pretty bad. So yeah, look out for that. So there's this little dial here, and the only way to really access it is by extending the bellows out. Um, you don't have to put them out this far, but I am. Um, and you're gonna, you can just take your finger and you just push on that. And what that's gonna do is make this whole area here lift up. And that's going to give you access to this area. And what that's gonna also do is help you get to this. So all of the parts that you're gonna to wanna to access are on the underside. And this looks very, very good. I put in new light seals in here. I will say, when you're doing this, there are different little levels of where to, where to start. Um, there are these two tabs right here and right here. Um, and this one, once you unscrew this screw right here, Pardon the hello. Pardon the focusing issue. That one is the screw. This one behind it is not. You'll see a slot in it. Once you unscrew this one, this little tab here just kind of pushes out, and that releases this tab of Fresnel, um, and then that'll free that part up. And then this one here, once you unscrew this screw, you'll be able to just pop this up, and it's free. And that'll give you access to the glass on this side underneath. So you could just clean it out like that if you want. You could, if you're, if the light seals don't look super bad and there is just like dust or hair or whatever, you could just clean it out, give it a wipe, and then just reset the Fresnel on top or the ground glass on top and then screw it back together and great. Uh, but if they are deteriorating really bad, you will start with these two parts, removing this. Once you get under there, there are screws here and there and here and there. That, and once you get that up, you'll see there's even more buildup of disintegrated light seal material, and it just gets really dirty, and it won't stop flaking and making a mess, you know, if you don't eventually get to it and clean it. Um, so pretty much what you end up doing, and I'll post more photos throughout, uh, is there's light seals attached to the this edge here and also on the under edge in certain points and they kind of meet when you put the two pieces back together they press together blocking out any light that can come in and also helping the focusing screen and the ground glass uh, connect and I'll post photos to know to show you where to put the light seals in uh, right now and you'll see how to fit it um, hopefully. And when you're getting rid of the light seals, um, you're going to want to, if you just take an X-Acto blade, 
Uh, maybe if you if you want, you could use like a little bit of rubbing alcohol. I have 91% rubbing alcohol, but I think anything less would work fine. Um, and just like very gently, just kind of scrape away the old glue and any of the old stuff. And Q-tips come in handy in this process because you can wipe away as you do that. Uh, and a, like a little paper towel so you can wipe off the exacto blade and then once that's all clean and you've cleaned it out with q-tips and alcohol and it looks shiny and pristine then if you go to b and h you can find more light seal foam they just have like packs and they have different uh thicknesses this right here so camera light seal foam uh thick thickness one millimeter and i just got it from b and h it was relatively cheap i can't remember exactly and i used maybe like this much just strips down the side strips down the side um and it's i still have a, a ton of it so really good deal really worth looking into and you'll have it for a while i'm sure and yeah it's done a really good job i've shot two rolls so far no light leaks at all so i'm looking forward to shooting more but yeah it's and then once you're done once you're done cleaning and you and you've put the light seals in and you feel confident then you're going to put the glass back down and how I did it was I reattached one of the um the little metal pieces and I'll highlight it in the in a photo right now um and then I kind of set the glass down and slid it under there and then I tightened that one piece this screw and that screw and then I then attached to the second piece to make sure it was held well if you put the light seal material too close in inside to like the edge edge that can cause an issue with fitting the glass and the ground glass back in correctly. Uh, and they might, you might have to pull it up. I had to do this a few times, pull the light seal up and kind of push it further this way along the edge rather than right up against the opening. Cause the glass is going to want to be as close to the, you know, the edges of the opening to fit square with it. And so it kind of, you realize how much further in or outward you need to pull the light seals uh, along the edges uh, to fit the glass flush with the, the metal frame and then when you get that in then you tighten this edge and this edge then you'll put the uh, this little border down here this metal whole metal piece that also has light seals on the underside you'll set that down on it and then you'll put the uh, screws in here and then the ground glass will go on top of that and when you put the ground glass in since this piece with the tab is going to be at the top here where the bellows meet to set it and lock it you're going to want to make sure that these numbers here if you can see these you're going to want to make sure they're upright so that they line up with this edge and you can actually see the depth and when the parallax bar starts to drop you know your distance and everything and how small your frame is going to be so you want to make sure that your ground glass is actually set properly and a way you can know that is that this little tab when you start um, that's going to be where you want to set it down so the tab on the bottom right and then this piece swings in you tighten it and then this piece you set down you tighten that and once that's good and it's flush uh, you'll realize also that where this piece that screws the waste hole finder or prism in the bottom of the ground glass pushes right up against this edge here and then that gives enough room for this piece to swing in and push down on this to hold the whole piece in and so you're not going to meet the full top of this metal piece with the edge of the ground glass you're going to meet this edge here with the ground glass and it might take you a few tries you might get it first try good job and then once that's in you just set this back down there you go no wiggle tighten it don't worry about this till you're ready to put your whatever finder you're using back on if you take this piece here this little cutout and you see this little bar here where this screws those two pieces are going to go down this little piece is going to go right on top of that bar and there's also these two little this little groove and this little groove these little tiny nubby screws here and here those pieces you're going to want to put this back on you're going to have the back lifted like so and you're going to just put the front down and slide it and then that'll give you a flush 
connection here and then this will be right on the bar and you'll tighten it and then once that's done you can close your bellows don't crush your fingers and you're good to go and that's it it's very simple um, and it doesn't take very long it took me about I don't know, half hour 40 minutes to get get that done and um, now I have a very clean, well-working Mamiya C330 that I am very excited about. And, yep, here it is. Uh, I hope this video is helpful at all, and I will see you on the other side. Beep!